Welcome to the Daily App Show iPhone Edition. My name is Jared and today we're going to take a look at Crazy Remote, which allows you to connect to your Windows PC from your iPhone and view full screen everything that's going on. So you can actually manage multiple PCs from this application. You just simply need to have the application Crazy Remote Server installed on your computer. So you go to crazyremote.com, you download the small application, and install it on all the computers that are connected to the network that you want to have access to. Now I can uh, simply go and check out my computer list right here and add new computers and I can have several computers that I can manage in here. Of course you can only be connected to one at a time but that's all that you'd be able to manage on a little iPhone screen at a time. So I can tap plus here and enter the connection information that is displayed on the crazy remote server when it's running on your computer. It's going to show you an IP address, a port, and the password that you've entered, and then you can give it a display name so that it'll save it on your phone. Under advanced options, there are performance connection issues, different things that you can set up here to customize your experience, depending on the Wi-Fi that you have, the performance, non-Wi-Fi performance if you're connecting over a 3G or Edge, um, your full screen mode options, resolution, audio sharing, and all that stuff. So let's just go back because I do have Windows XP already configured. I am actually connecting to Windows XP that is installed through Parallels on my Mac, which was a little bit of a chore to get set up. However, it works just fine even on a Mac through Parallels. So if you're thinking, well, I run you know, Windows through Parallels, then this is for you too. It's not just for standalone PC users. So now we're viewing basically a zoomed in portion of the screen. I could tap two fingers on the screen and it will actually go and resize the screen for me. There we go. And I can view full height here and zoom around. We have our keys down at the bottom that allow us to do certain things. We can also rotate the phone into landscape mode and then get full screen view there as well. Um, but I tend to like this mode right here. So for example, if I wanted to open Firefox, you could see I have a shortcut to Firefox on my desktop. I would simply click on the left, on the mouse click button right here, zoom over on top of something and then double tap left click right there and it will go ahead and launch Firefox. I'm going to zoom over here and get rid of this window. Restart later. Get that out of the way. And then let's do a Google search for something. So let's go for Oh, looks like we already got it. Dailyappshow.com. Takes a little bit of getting used to. There is a tutorial, or not necessarily a tutorial, but a demo on the Crazy Remote website of them actually playing games using your iPhone as a controller. So what's cool is that you have complete control over your desktop. So when you're not in a keyboard or a mouse mode, you can scroll across your desktop and see what's going on. When you go into keyboard mode, you can type on the keyboard right here. And when you rotate into landscape mode, you have an even larger keyboard with more space for your fingers. You also have the ability to go and change your connection, or your, your computer volume and everything right from here. You can go into your main options and change the performance if things tend to not be performing well based on the internet connection that you have. You have left and right click. We also have some quick launch items right here to launch Explorer for File Explorer, our default web browser, Task Manager, in case something freezes. We've got Copy, Paste, Undo, Cut, Select All, uh, quick to desktop. We've got a quick uh, quit button button right here, Alt F4, um, and then full screen Alt Enter. So we have some quick access stuff that we can do as well. And then you also see down here that we get a couple of extra modifiers. We can always disconnect right here. We could even reboot our computer or shut it down from right here as well. So this is a really neat application. It gives you full control over your PC computer when you are not in front of it.
as you can see I have the crazy remote server running in the background here and then I also have different things that I can run let's go and launch a program from the start menu here we have our start menu let's go and grab a game How about good old Minesweeper? I don't have many games on my Windows XP. So now I could play a game of Minesweep. How awesome is that? I'm sure you can come up with more advanced ways to use this. For many of you who do use a Windows PC for various things, whether it be gaming or as your main computer, this is a great tool to have, uh, especially you know with all the other solutions that are out there that are really expensive this is an inexpensive way for you to connect to your desktop on Windows XP anything currently in the 32-bit uh, you know range I have Windows 7 got it working on Windows 7 once I figured out the configuration settings to use it with parallels and now it also works with Windows XP and so I'm excited to be able to have access to all this stuff from my iPhone. So if you're looking for a great solution for getting control of your desktop, your PC desktop through your iPhone, I think you're going to like Crazy Remote and it's an awesome tool so definitely check it out in the App Store today.